uh, today we're going to deal with simple probability. A couple word, a couple vocabulary words you need to know. Sample space is a list of all possible outcomes of an event. For example, flipping a coin, the sample space is heads and tails. For rolling a six-sided die, this, the sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six. If it's the alphabet, the, the sample space is the alphabet. There's 26 members of the sample set. So every outcome possibility is in the sample set. All right? Sample space. Uh, the probability is the ratio of the number of successful outcomes, what you want to happen, over how many outcomes possible in the sample space. So flipping a coin, if you want the probability of getting heads, there's only one head out of two out possible outcomes. So one over two is the probability of getting heads on a coin flip, just one coin being flipped one time. Right? Yep. Again, this is, we're still in the fifth, sixth grade level of probability right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at example one. First thing, what we're going to be doing today is going to be independent events. What that means is that what happened before has no bearing over what happens next. So when they give you information like this, a fair coin is tossed three times and comes up heads every time, that's irrelevant to the next coin flip. Just because you got heads, 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 doesn't mean the next flip's going to have to be heads. It could just as well be tails. So when they tell you what already happened, just kind of ignore that information. The only important words that came out of that entire sentence are the words, a fair coin. If it's fair, that means it's just as likely to get heads as it is as it is tails. It's not, it's not heads, heads. Uh, heavier on one side to make it always flip to one side or the other. So there's ways of making things unfair. All right, but... Um, if it's a fair coin, we can, we can be assured that the chance of getting every outcome is the same. So what's the probability of the next toss that will come up heads? So what I'm looking for is a statement such as this. I want to see that on your paper. I want you to get accustomed to the, the probability um, notation. P heads means probability of getting heads. And all we need to know to find probability is simply how many ways are there to make what we want and how many of the ways to make anything. That's what probability is. What we want over what we can get. All right. So how many ways are there to get what we want? One. One. How many outcomes are there? Two. Two. So the probability of getting heads is a half. And again, if it said a fair coin is tossed three times, comes up tails every time, what's the probability of getting heads on the next flip? Still one half because there's still only one head out of two sides. So that's the probability of getting heads. 